everyone welcome to medical dialogues i am dr nandita mohan let's look at today's top headline rss di releases guidelines for the management of hypertension in diabetes mellitus 2022 catering to the pressing need to outline an evidence and experience based comprehensive treatment yardstick the first ever indian guideline for the management of hypertension in diabetes mellitus has been released By the RSSDI the guideline recommends that calcium channel blockers must be preferred over beta blockers and thiazides in combination therapy with angiotensin 2 receptor blockers for better cardiovascular and renal protection in diabetic hypertensive indian patients the guideline also recommends silnidipine to be a comparatively more effective and safer novel molecule as compared to the conventional ccbs for indian diabetic hypertensive patients the guideline has been published in the latest issue of the international journal of diabetes in developing countries that is the ijddc arbs must be preferred over aceis in diabetic patients with hypertension telmisartan or azelsartan being selected as the first line agent The guideline said adding that a grade A recommendation citing that ARBs either alone or in combination with CCBs can be used for blood pressure control in diabetic patients. The guideline mentions that for combination therapy calcium channel blockers are recommended to be administered along with ARBs instead of beta blockers or even diuretics to avoid the risk of cardiovascular events and even hyperglycemia. Among the CCBs novel molecules like silnidipine are recommended in combination with ARBs for better cardiovascular and renal protection in diabetic hypertensive patients. Amlodipine and silnidipine are equally efficacious in reducing blood pressure. However, the incidence of pedal edema is reportedly lower with silnidipine than with amlodipine. When administered at a dosage of 5 to 20 mg per day based on the patient's clinical profile, silnidipine facilitates BP reduction, helps reduce heart rate and serum triglyceride levels in Indian patients suggestive of cardioprotective benefits. The guideline noted comparing the two most commonly used CCBs. Talking about the use of ARBs the guidelines note that telmisartan stands out due to its beneficial effects on fasting blood glucose and insulin levels That's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates Never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon